Let's start with Mr. Abhishek. Allow the first entry to continue. Okay. Um, there are some suggestions on uh, from Dennis on this. I have done that. Mm. So this is ready to be reviewed again. Uh, sorry, they will continue. It's so but, this is ready to be reviewed again. Yes, correct. All right, cool. And then Paul gave you some commands to work with for some factum data. Yes, I have written some methods to pull some factum data where I entries from the factum data and then process it. Uh, I'm working, I'm now currently working uh, on an approach to create a faucet with the credit, with credits and then put it onto the platform. So since we are using an API uh, client way of doing that, I might need to connect with uh, Dennis on the approach. But anyway, I'll try along with me. I'll try to create a faucet and Using that faucet and uh, create the transactions on the accumulate. Okay, so you're saying that you need credits on accumulate to create these transactions? Correct. All right, well, that's just adding tokens to a token account and then burning those and generating credits. Or are you talking about something? Yes, yes, no, for my local testing, I'll be creating a faucet in terms of the end. Okay. Then doing a round of testing with that. Cool. Um, the testing, how it should be done, that can be checked. So, the first thing, so is this in progress? I mean, are you going to create a branch for any of this? Yes, I have created a branch. It is in progress. I've committed some codes. To, I'll be committing. Okay. So let me just move it because I guess it's uh, got stuck. Um, all right, that sounds good. Let's move on to Mr. Dennis. Okay, deprecate use of persistent peers. Yeah, so I spent a lot of time yesterday with uh, Stuart. So we were converting over our uh, our persistent peer network, our core network on the test net, over to the new Docker system. Uh, we converted one, everything was going good, converted two, then everything started getting a little bit flaky. So I uh, took a step back, um, reverted everything, got everything stabilized again, um, and we're going to try again today. So there's some lessons learned from that that are going to feed into this task. Okay. For the bootstrap. And... So I'm also working with Stuart. Um, so we're going to use his proxy to get the um, our seeds. Uh, so that'll be feeding into this task as well. So. Oh, cool. Okay. And then, Dennis, I'll respond to your... I saw you message me. Uh, I'll respond to your message. After All right. All right. Um, very good. Mr. Ethan. Okay. So I believe yesterday these were ready to be... Everything in review is ready to be reviewed. Um, it's always Docker. Well, at least from... Merge request target. That seems is that a new um, test that we're running? If there are a chain of merge requests, then they need to be merged in order, and that job prevents them from being merged out of order. Okay. So that job is just a hack to get around limitations of GitHub or GitLab. Um, so that one, that merge request depends on some other merge request. So once the other merge request is merged, then that one can be merged. Okay, and it's this merge request, right? Yes. Okay. So, Dennis, if you have time to review this uh, MR today, that would be great. Yeah, I think I reviewed it and I approved it, I think. <laughs> okay, so maybe it just didn't move? Um, I didn't. I didn't merge it. I just approved it. Oh, you just approved it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, that sounds good. And then I guess, Ethan, at some point, I'd like to learn about the major block implementation and how it's different. 
Um, uh, we can do that once I've figured it out. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I mean, Paul's design document, you know, gives out gives the general outline, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly how it's going to end up. Gotcha. So, all right. I think Jat and we talked about this task yesterday. Actually, I haven't worked on this. I was working on the other two tasks because this is uh, mostly related to writing the test. So I was completing the implementation of the other two tasks. And uh, one is ready for review, I guess. Uh, signing a message. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I implemented the suggestions of Dennis and created a new data structure. So I guess this can be reviewed maybe. If there are further comments, I'll complete them today. And I'm also working on the 1505 task. Some tests are failing. So once I figure out why they are failing, I maybe that can be moved to review. Okay. Yeah, and if you could focus, before going back to that, if you could focus on writing tests for 1170, just so we can get that merged there. Yeah, this is giving me some trouble. That's why I was putting it on hold. But yes, I'll try to resolve this. Okay. Um, so, sign and submit a data account from the CLI. Part of the data entry. So, the... So you're basically, Jay, I'm just going to mute you. Um, so when, when you're setting up this transaction, um, sort of how, how is this, so are you, you're writing this data to another data account? Um, I'm just a little confused as to signing it as an external ID. Could you explain that? Yes, so we are signing anonymous payloads and we are including a proof that yes, it was signed by this key and it contains a signature. So exit IDs are like arrays of bytes. So in the in one array of byte, we will have the entire signature and a, a, a new data structure, which Dennis had suggested, mm -hmm. which is data signing info. So yes, it will it will be a data entry, but it will contain an extra contain extra data which also has proof of the signature yeah. maybe dennis can explain was, better um that's good i think we don't know mr paul snow how's everything going paul uh going fairly well um spent uh most of this last couple of days uh, with board meeting and uh, whatnot, which just ended, and uh, all is good. So you'll work on the BPT. Pablo, I saw you commented on your task. Um, right. Yep, working on them and. We we'll discussed with Dennis for future steps. Need to add timers and uh, basically get output from uh, the result of transactions. Okay. Um, and what's sort of the what's sort of the step after that in terms of completing this task? Uh, then uh, moving it to review and next step making it working with. Uh, servers real servers not local network okay all right that sounds good raja and sasha we're working on the requirements and mr sander sander here yes I'm, uh... hey sander so you have one task in review. So that's, um, yeah, Ethan, if you could review this today, just so it doesn't fall behind, um, that would be great. And then, Sander, you're working on uh, EC1402, is that correct? Yes, I'm in the last step in the uh, Docker validation uh, script, if I had an issue. For the rest, it's done. 
I do have some notes with it, but to see if it's approved. But I think I can remove the review tonight. Awesome. All right. So I guess that is that. Um, yeah, this is sort of the the final stretch of this week. So um, this has been a good sprint. Everyone just putting the extra effort for the rest of this week. Um, we're going to basically weekly come up with the sprint numbers, plug them into a, a sheet that Paul's created for project management, and that will um, be sent to the board and all of the interested parties. Um, all right. Happy Thursday, everybody, and have a great day.